We're spilling the tea. Hi, we're the Psychic Twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And it's about to get real. Oh yeah. We're serving the Psychic Twins realness today. This is part two of a two-part series about your celebrity predictions. Be sure to watch our first video from last week, Spilling the Tea. Let's get started. Okay. Liza Koshy. People want to know what's going to happen next they, they, now that she has the new show with Nickelodeon, I think it is, and uh, David Dobrik, who was her long time, well, one and a half, two years boyfriend. She just broke up with him and people have been tweeting about her. Ben tweeted this to us. This is more of a question. Where do you see Liza Koshy? She seems past YouTube at this point and I'm curious where her career is heading. Well, we are actually seeing her in a new relationship fairly soon. I mean, I'm not really seeing her reuniting with David, although a lot of people want that to they happen. They want it to and they even hinted it might be possible in the future. I think she was more humoring him in a way because I think she's taken off like a rocket ship with her career right now. Yeah, I feel really good about her career coming up and I think she's going to get so many opportunities and movies oh, and shows. I, and I would love to see her in some comedy films and that'd be great. She should be doing, you know, acting and she's so brilliant. I really feel that it's going to take off for her and we see her in a relationship with someone else. Guys. Yeah, she's going to date a few different guys and I don't see her getting serious for at least two or three more years, do you? No. In a Oh, no, not really. I mean, she's, so she's busy. very young too. Yeah, this is a lot of work. It's having a TV show. We're going to talk about Madonna. Our friend at Secret Window Tarot and Spirituality, Joseph, says, Don't hate me, Madonna, but within the next year or two, I see a whole new era of your life coming. Meemaw. And I don't think it will be Lourdes. <laughs> I think it'll be Rocco. That he'll bring the next Chicone into the world. I just oh. have this hunch that you're going to be a grandma. And I think that's an interesting prediction. Well, I think that <laughs> you're you right. Think? I think that Lourdes and Rocco will probably have Definitely. babies. So we can start calling Madonna Granny. Yeah. She'll be a great grandmother too. <laughs> I'm know. not sure it'll be next year, but you know, down the road. And I think it'll, it'll be, be a really talented kid for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So we see more grandchildren coming for Lady Madonna. Now, Megan Casey wrote to us and said, I believe the royals, Harry and Megan, will have a baby either next next year or early 2020. That was actually one of our predictions about the Duke and Duchess, Harry and Meghan, and we said yeah. that we saw them with a couple of kids, and, and I don't think that they're gonna wait too long. People no. are saying they're gonna have twins. No, we're not seeing twins no. for them, but we're agreeing with you, Meghan, that that is likely to happen uh, within the next year and a half, two years. Yeah. We now, wish them luck. We've been channeling Lady Diana for many years. For and 20, 20 years. For the UK Daily Star, for 20 and, years. so you might wanna keep up with our columns there or articles that come out where we're channeling Lady Diana's messages to the royals. Yeah, they've been running articles mm -hmm. on for us channeling Princess years. Diana for uh, about a year and a half now, yeah. so it's, check out the new one. It's really fun. And I Am By Jesus mm -hmm. predicts that Nick Jonas's marriage won't last a year. Well, mm -hmm. we actually mm -hmm. disagree with that. We're talking about Nick Jonas, Nick Jonas and Priyanka Jonas. Chopra. And they're engaged. And actually, they're such a beautiful couple. We mm. think they're just such a power couple, really. And the thing is, she's 10 years older, I think, than he is. She's 36, wow. he's 25 or 26. And so that's a big age difference, but we think that they are really well suited to each other, and I think they both are ready to start a family soon. Uh, somebody named Toheed, I hope we pronounced your name right, Toheed. To. We call you To. I predict that Nick and Priyanka will have four kids. Whoa. That was his prediction. Four Four kids. That's wow. A lot. Well, that is a lot of kids, Toe. And, you know, as we said, this is a really special power couple. We think that because of her age, 36, uh, she better get cracking on those babies if she's going to have four kids because over 35, it's harder and harder for women to have children without help of surrogacy or in vitro or whatever. And so many people are adopting and doing surrogates yeah. that, you know, if she wants four, she certainly <laughs> can yeah, have them. I agree. Okay, a lot of people were asking us about Jeffree Star and to make predictions for Jeffree the makeup mogul. Hi Jeffree. Hi Jeffree. Actually this prediction comes from Andrew Rose who is a writer and a student. Jeffree Star is going to launch a skincare line and personals line by the end of 2019. Ooh. Body wash, cologne, facial scrub, lotion, and conditioner. I see a high focus 
for facial options as he is in the beauty industry. A new cleansing sponge for acne care. Wow, maybe you should be and his business consultant, Andrew. <laughs> or ours. <laughs> now, Randy Chandler said, Jeffree Star will do new music. And I actually have to say that we agree with both of these predictions. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of new products coming mm -hmm. out for Jeffree and we're seeing great new music coming from Jeffree. Yes. I think that he's going to be recording soon. He might even be recording now. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna buy his he's album. He's going to keep getting better and stronger and, and his health is going to improve, I think. You know, we got some interesting past lives on you, Jeffrey. Would love to share those with you sometime. Let us know if you think we should collab with Jeffrey Star. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a great idea. Because we would love to. We would love to. Justin and Haley, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin, they're now engaged and we did predict that he would marry someone other than Selena and that is now a reality. Well, Bethany wrote to us on Twitter and said, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin will have a long and happy marriage. Well, what do you think? Long and well, happy? Well, we think this may <laughs> not be super long. We do see at least one child coming to both of them before they yeah. divorce. Yeah. Well, she's a good grounding influence for Justin. I think, so I think you know, it's healthier yeah. than the Selena relationship. And the reason is, I think, not we love you, Selena. It's just that when two people are in show business together and in the limelight and always having to produce yeah. at such a high level, it's really difficult to share a life. And it helps if one person is sort of not involved in show business for the relationship to last longer. Yeah. Not sure how long it'll last though. I think they will have a baby or two. Well, we also said that we saw Selena stepping away from music for a while. And guess what? She moved to Orange County. She moved mm -hmm. out of Los Angeles. Yeah, she did. And she's helping children who are victims of sex, sex trafficking, oh. which oh, I think is a wonderful. It's That's wonderful such a great cause you. for her. That's a great cause for yeah. her to be involved. I'm hoping that she does stay away from recording and performing for a while so she can really get her footing again. Well, I love it when big stars use their platform to help, you know, those who are disenfranchised and that. the sex trafficking is so, oh, so, so huge horrible. as a problem. Not enough people yeah. are addressing this. Yeah, and absolutely. I think she has a very big spiritual mission to help children. I totally agree. So absolutely. what about BTS? Everybody's oh, asking Oh, BTS. Yes. Oh my gosh. So many questions coming for that group. They are really on a rocket ship to catapulting into the stratosphere right now. Destiny Moore, we love you, De Destiny. She wrote to us on Twitter, what opportunities will BTS have in the future? Will they keep growing at a fast rate? I have a feeling we're going to see more collabs with other artists. And we are seeing uh, that too. We're seeing more collabs with yeah. American artists. Uh, a lot of people want them to collab with Justin Bieber. I don't believe they have yet. It'd be nice to see that. I love um, BTS. Yeah, we just love them. And they're doing very well these past few years. We see more of that over the next few years. They've, they're breaking, shattering records actually. Dakota Lynn Berry tweeted us, I feel like BTS might surpass the success of Michael Jackson. Whoa. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's a big prediction. Anything's possible, Dakota. Their first video for their new single, Idol, which was just released last Friday. It was viewed more than 45 million times in 24 hours. Oh my God. And that set a record. It was the biggest music video debut in YouTube history. It actually beat Taylor really? Swift out. She had 43.2 million in 24 hours. And of course they've gone into the hundreds of millions now. But that was a big record. Her Look What You Made Me Do video did really well. I think it set the record before they did. So now it feels like they are on track to be shattering records well, for I some love that. Come. Have you seen that video yet, you guys? It's Idol great. by BTS. It's wild, huh? It, they are so incredible. I mean, yeah. I am in love with their dancing and their costumes and the too. colors, all those amazing, <sighs> like a kaleidoscope Fabulous. of candy colors just kind of coming at you and like music. a Willy Wonka explosion. It's like a, an explosion in it's, a candy factory. It is, it is. I love their... It's uh, so fun. Uh, that video is so good, it's, you guys. It's great. It's fun. Uh, you know, they have great energy. They work like you can't believe how hard these guys work. They look like they're 12. Well, it's very, and they're about 20 to 25 years old. They're 20s. They look like teenagers. Yeah. And they're so amazing. Like, yeah. do you know how hard so it is to get into a K-pop group? You it's have hard. to audition. Yeah. And there's this rigorous audition process. It is it's crazy. So, so hard. These guys are so Yeah, good. and there's like, what, seven or eight of them? I don't know how many, but they I, I, can't like even, <laughs> I can't even pronounce their names yet, but I want 
want to learn yeah. more. And um, if you guys have more questions about BTS, we're going to do more predictions about them in another video in the future. So let us know in the comment section what yeah, you want to ask us. So next we're going to talk about Halsey and g Easy. Well, we Halsey. you know, Halsey and g Easy, <laughs> they were together for about a year and then recently they broke up and then they yeah. reunited. Now they're back together romantically. Yeah, they're great um, together. Ash asked I mean, they're us, great as performers together, don't you think? Yes, and Ash asked us, will Halsey and g Easy stay together? And I have to say that we love mm. them together, but we think he's going to cheat again yeah. and we think he's playing her. And it's going to be a rocky road for the it two is. of them. I mean, it is. that's a very, very yeah. tough road. And yeah. so it's a slippery slope for those guys. I, I feel she'd be better off if she could date other types of men and maybe not date at all for a little while and just find out who you are, Halsey. You're just amazing and amazingly talented. She's a lot younger too, and but yeah. I mean, it isn't necessarily about age. I just don't necessarily feel that they'll stay together that long. Yeah, it feels like almost like a false twin flame that you're hoping that he'll change and that doesn't usually happen. They're so cute together. Yeah. Um, but anyway, now somebody named A person who's a fan of us on Twitter said there will be at least one celebrity death within the next year connected to the Illuminati and she said I'm thinking of a situation similar to Tupac's like the music and industry. I have to say that we agree yeah. with your prediction yeah. a person but when that and happens it will not come out that it was Illuminati no. uh, but we but talked, we'll tell you. we talked a lot about the Illuminati in past videos so look those up but they do control a large part of the rec record business and yes. the recording industry the music industry is rife with Illuminati members so, so yeah, I'll we'll tell you the truth yeah we'll we'll spill the tea on that one but I pray that doesn't happen you know this is a, a very difficult business especially the rap business very very tough hip-hop and rap tough tough field so you know, there's, there's there can be real bad blood in that on the highest level. So please say a prayer for them too. Okay. Well, okay. what are your predictions? Let us know in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the future.